Soldiers have become soulless machines. The future we feared in movies has become reality. From unmanned armored vehicles with modular equipment to helicopters without pilots that refuel mid-air, and even robot dogs, the U.S. military is moving into the future at an alarming pace. So, what happens when loving dogs turn into lethal military machines, and the robot is to the gun what the musket was to the sword? As we answer those questions, we'll uncover how the U.S. military complex is working on a hive mind, a military software to unite all machines and change combat operations forever. Imagine a robot dog that doesn't just fetch sticks, but can sprint at nearly 6 miles per hour, carry a 22-pound payload, and even wield a rifle. Meet the Vision 60, developed by Ghost Robotics. This quadrupedal unmanned ground vehicle, QUGV, is designed for agility and endurance, capable of operating in various terrains and weather conditions. It boasts a battery life of up to three hours of continuous movement or 20 plus hours on standby. In recent military exercises, the US Army tested the Vision 60 equipped with an AI-enabled rifle turret. This setup includes an AR-15-M16 pattern rifle mounted on a rotating turret, enhanced with an electro-optical targeting system dubbed Lone Wolf. The system is designed to detect and engage aerial targets, primarily drones, showcasing its potential in counter-drone operations. The Vision 60's capabilities don't stop there. It's built with a modular design, allowing for quick repairs and adaptability in the field. Its IP67 rating ensures it can withstand harsh weather conditions, and its open architecture allows for end-user integrations. These robotic dogs have been part of various military exercises, including Operation Hard Kill, where they demonstrated their ability to engage static ground targets. The tests aim to evaluate the effectiveness of such systems in real-world scenarios, particularly in counter-unmanned aerial system UAS operations. But this is just the beginning. The military is looking to incorporate autonomous fighters in every aspect of warfare, like the EMAV, before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. Think of the Expeditionary Modular Autonomous Vehicle as the military's version of a Swiss Army knife on tracks. Developed by Pratt Miller and Chinetti Q, this unmanned ground vehicle is designed to support troops in various combat scenarios. The EMAV is a diesel-electric hybrid weighing just over 4 tons. It can reach speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour and carry a maximum payload of 6,000 pounds. Its modular design allows for quick adaptations, whether it's transporting supplies, evacuating casualties, or even mounting weapon systems. The vehicle integrates Chinetti Q's modular open system architecture, MOSA, making it highly flexible and payload agnostic. The EMAV boasts a range of about 200 miles ensuring it can keep up with fast-paced operations. Its compact size allows it to be transported inside an MV-22 Osprey, providing rapid deployment capabilities. The U.S. Army has been evaluating the EMAV as part of its robotic combat vehicle RCV program. In 2023, the Army picked four companies, including Chinetti Q and Pratt Miller, to develop prototypes for the RCV light category. These prototypes were supposed to enhance battlefield capabilities while reducing risks to soldiers. However, the journey was challenging, to say the least. There were concerns about the cost-effectiveness of deploying such advanced vehicles, especially when faced with threats like inexpensive drones. The Army is evaluating its approach to ensure there's a balance between technological advancement and practical utility which is why they decided to focus on the area where the drones actually are, in the air. This autonomous chopper is like the Navy's high-tech scout, designed to provide reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeting support without putting a pilot in harm's way. Built by Northrop Grumman, the MQ-8C is based on the reliable airframe of the Bell 407, a commercial helicopter with a solid track record. But this isn't your average Bell 407, it's been transformed into a cutting-edge unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, equipped with advanced sensors and systems. The Fire Scout can cruise at speeds up to 115 knots, 
about 132 miles per hour, and has a maximum speed of 135 knots. It boasts an impressive endurance of up to 12 hours and can operate at altitudes reaching 16,000 feet. With a range of 150 nautical miles and a payload capacity of over 700 pounds, it's well suited for extended missions over the sea and coastal areas. The Navy has been actively testing and deploying the MQ-8C to enhance its capabilities. Initial Operational Test and Evaluation IOTNE, were conducted aboard the USS Coronado LCS-4 where the Fire Scout demonstrated its ability to operate alongside manned helicopters like the MH-60S Seahawk. One of the Fire Scout's best features is its autonomous takeoff and landing capability, allowing it to operate from various naval platforms, including littoral combat ships (LCS). This flexibility enhances the Navy's ability to conduct missions in diverse environments without relying solely on manned aircraft. That's why the helicopter could be refueled by the CH-53E Super Stallion helicopter, operated by the U.S. Marine Corps. It was the first time in human history that a manned rotary wing aircraft fueled an unmanned rotary wing aircraft on the ground. It's only a matter of time before these behemoths can refuel mid-air. However, despite its advanced capabilities, the MQ-8C program faced big challenges. In 2024, the Navy announced plans to retire the Fire Scout fleet, citing budget constraints and shifting priorities. The decision came just two years after the MQ-8C achieved initial operational capability, highlighting the rapid evolution of military technology and the need to adapt to emerging threats and requirements, like the need to safely decontaminate military equipment. And now that might be actually possible thanks to the AEDP. The autonomous equipment decontamination platforms pair perfectly with the QUVGs and other autonomous military vehicles. The U.S. Army's latest innovation in keeping their gear squeaky clean, the Autonomous Equipment Decontamination System, or AED system. This isn't your average car wash. It's a robotic marvel designed to decontaminate military vehicles exposed to hazardous substances without putting soldiers at risk. Developed by the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Chemical Biological Center DEVCOM CBC, the AED system combines unmanned systems, artificial intelligence, and autonomous behaviors to identify, map, and decontaminate military combat vehicles on the battlefield. The system works using an unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, equipped with a camera that scans the entire surface of a vehicle to detect contaminated areas. This contamination data is then wirelessly transmitted to operators stationed at a safe distance who use a robotic manipulator arm to precisely apply a decontamination slurry to the affected areas, which saves a lot of time. In recent field tests, soldiers from the 1st Armored Division spent several days operating the AED system and provided valuable feedback to the development team. They found challenges the robotic platform faced while navigating around and manipulating the odd shapes and hard-to-reach surfaces of some military vehicles. To fix this, they suggested refining the system's navigation capabilities and adding functionalities to the user interface, such as right-click options and manual overrides for the applicator arm. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about keeping vehicles clean, it's about ensuring that soldiers can carry out their missions with confidence, knowing that their equipment is free from harmful contaminants. But the link that will connect all of these autonomous vehicles into one cohesive system is the software. Imagine trying to coordinate a team where each member speaks a different language. Chaos, right? That's the current scenario with the Army's autonomous vehicles. Each robot, whether it's a ground vehicle, drone, or unmanned boat, often operates on its own unique software, making coordination a logistical nightmare. To address this, the Department of Defense DoD, has partnered with the Defense Innovation Unit DIU, to find companies capable of developing a unified software architecture for all autonomous vehicles. This initiative aims to create a single operating system that can seamlessly integrate various unmanned platforms, ensuring they can communicate and operate together effectively. 
In April 2024, the DIU awarded contracts to Anduril Industries and Palantir Technologies to develop software system integration architectures for the Army's Robotic Combat Vehicle Program. These companies need to create one software that can manage the diverse array of unmanned platforms the Army employs. The goal is to enable human-machine integrated formations, where autonomous systems and human soldiers operate in tandem on the battlefield. Also, the DIU has engaged other tech companies like Forterra, Kodiak Robotics, Nea Systems, Overland AI, Applied Intuition, and Scale AI to contribute to this initiative. These companies bring expertise in autonomous navigation, machine learning, and AI, which are crucial for developing a robust and adaptable software ecosystem for military applications. One of the key aspects of this software development is the implementation of Tor key compliance, traceability, observability, replaceability, and automated consumption. This framework ensures that the software is modular, maintainable, and adaptable, allowing for rapid updates and integration of new technologies as they emerge. This type of software would enhance operational efficiency because autonomous vehicle systems would work together seamlessly. It also simplifies maintenance and upgrades, as a common software platform means updates can be deployed across multiple systems simultaneously. Moreover, it reduces training requirements for personnel, as they only need to learn one system instead of multiple disparate ones. Do you think these robots are to the rifles what the musket was to the sword and arrow? Let us know in the comments below. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.